just come aboard our 1966 Chris Craft 37. Most of this has been rebuilt. A lot of work done as recently as 2006. A uh, complete list of work done will be included. All the running rigging uh, has been um, re-evaluated, measured, and replaced as needed as recently as last year. All the halyards uh, are doubled as we go forward. Nice strong pulpit. And we have a custom uh, bowsprit and uh, anchor rolling. Very strong. A manual um, windlass. Harkin roller furling, all in good usable shape. All the running rigging is all in good shape. The running lights. All is functioning well. 1966 boat, you're going to see some of the older um, technology, like in the hatch here, wooden hatch. It's a good solid hatch, however. The mast is uh, stepped, keel stepped inside. Seals are all good. All the winches are functional on the mast. You have a Garmin radar, television antenna, everything is tied into um, uh, the, uh, the nav system. The boat is bonded for lightning down through a cast iron keel that's held in place with 14 brand new bolts. We have photos in the listing of those bolts. Moving aft, we'll see a rooming, sea-going sea uh, cockpit. Shallow with plenty of scuffer space. This has a bimini or dodger if you're a sailor. It also has an arch with uh, photo cells, wind generator, and single sideband antenna. Winches are harking. All work smoothly and easily. Has a beautiful wooden classic wheel and a pedestal. Plenty of Lazarus space here, port and starboard and aft. We have a man overboard system, extra anchor, GPS antenna, a mount for an outboard uh, motor. All cables seem, and seals seem to be in place and very good. All fair leads and fair lead winches are all functional and in good shape, as is the rigging and the boom all the way through the gooseneck uh, at the mast and the mast winches. If we look at the uh, companionway, going down in the galley. The galley was completely reworked. We have a Force 10 propane stone and oven. All right, with the sea bar in front of it. Stainless steel sink. Two spigots, one pressure water, and the one on the left is a uh, manual pump system. The companionway steps are easy to come down. They're not too steep. Under this area, is a water tank that's been put in. And we have a refrigerator freezer. 
standard type style for both of this time. We look past the salon into the nav station. The nav station is complete. We have all the AC switches and breakers, radios, chart plotter, single sideband radio, radar. We have a pilot berth down the starboard side and aft we have the uh, AC alternating current uh, boxes, gauges, inverter, etc. Perco switch and as we go forward panning through the salon we can see the main V berth up forward brand new mattress heavy mattress hanging closets on the right on the left is the head the mast through the deck through the sole and keel mounted all seals look fine as you can see this is bonded as is a single side uh, band radio we have storage beneath the V-berth a comfortable V-berth area traditional wood around plenty of light and the hatch that'll give plenty of ventilation port side we have uh, the head and the head stainless steel sink the faucet speaker comes out and is also a shower head the toilet everything is functional everything is clean and well kept the owner and his wife spent 10 years living aboard and they treated the boat as as their home the table is beautiful it stretches out to port and starboard for comfortable seating for four to six people and underneath in this we have room for condiments bottles etc Port side of this is wired for 110 as well as the 12 volt that you use in the uh, lighting system. We have a Force 10 propane heater. These propane heaters work very well. And then the companionway back outside to the exterior. All the joinery is in excellent condition. Grab rails are solid. The frames are solid. This deck was recored in I think 2006 completely. A brand new glass exterior deck 
The keel on this boat is cast iron.